Hello, and welcome to Dino's Days of Distancing via Dino's Wonder Wheel in Coney Island. I'm Shelley Della Rocca, president of the Community Mayors for Children with Special Needs, wishing everyone a safe and healthy journey through these unusual and cautious times. Stacy Vidaris asked me to share my story growing up with the Community Mayors Children with Special Needs for their website. First, a very heartfelt thank you to Stacy and the whole Vidaris family. Every year, Dennis and Steve Vidoris open Dino's Wonder Wheel and donate a day to the community mayors and our children with special needs. It is the most generous gesture done with nothing but love and warm hearts. The family shares a generosity of spirit, heart, and soul that is unwavering in their love for the children with special needs. We are united in a common cause, to give back. The Vidoris family carries on a legacy of their mother and father, as do I. My father, Dominic Delarocca, founded the special events almost 70 years ago, and I have grown up with the community mayors and have had the opportunity to meet and know some very awesome and amazing people, and not the celebrities, but the volunteers. I grew up calling the community mayors aunt and uncle, and those my age called each other cousin, and we still do. One of my first memories was a parade with Santa Claus as the main attraction. Of course, I was about five and a police officer hoisted me up onto his horse and he grabbed the reins and off we went, leading the parade down Myrtle Avenue in Brooklyn. All the neighborhood kids ran alongside the parade and when it ended, we were in front of dad's restaurant where all the children yelling and screaming for Santa received presents. As the crowd disappeared, two school buses pulled up with children in wheelchairs and on crutches. And we all went inside the restaurant for lunch and entertainment by Justini the Magician. My mom and the other community mayor moms served lunch and I gave out the Briars Dixie Cup ice creams and then watched as the children sat one by one on Santa's lap. He spoke to them, made them laugh, and of course, the toys. My mother used to say we live from one community mayor event to another. So true. Growing up with the children with special needs taught me at an incredibly young age to count my blessings and how lucky I was. Shortly after dad's passing, I experienced a kind of paradigm shift. I was no longer a volunteer sharing with the children, but now it was the struggle to keep Dominic's life's work from falling into the hands of the self-serving. Little did I know what I was getting myself into. The volunteers became my rock unwavering. Community mayor volunteers genuinely give of their hearts, sweat, and time for no personal gain. Thank God for the volunteers. Most of them are first responders. Some have been with us for decades, which is a special reason to send a shout out to them now. NYPD and our detectives, sanitation department, FDNY, so awesome, and so many more. Our nurses, doctors, and EMS all on the front lines of our city today protecting us. And when we go out to Op Santa at JFK, we have the Port Authority and the Port Authority Police, Customs, FBI, Homeland, TSA, and more. You are all so awesome, and we can never thank you enough for your sacrifice and your courage during not just this scary time, but every day. Least we do not forget 9-11 and those still suffering. Our heroes. Thank you just does not seem to be enough. Our premier event is Operation Santa Claus. From two school buses to now 300. 4,000 children with special needs welcome Santa, donated by Macy's as he arrives waving from a Delta Airlines aircraft at JFK Airport in a hangar donated by the Port Authority. The aircraft is towed into the hangar up to the back of the stage for all to see. When Santa disembarks the plane, the children just go bonkers. We are all volunteers, a 501c3 non-political. Don't let the name fool you. Not for profit. We do not have paid staff. We are proud of our independent audit, boasting 91% of all monies go directly to the events for the children and equally proud of our gold rating by GuideStar. 
Community mayors provide children with special needs experiences that are designed to engage their minds, hearts, and spirits all year round. If you would like to know more about what we do, please visit us online at communitymayors.org. So I am currently hunkered down now, safe with my family, and I hope and pray all is well for you and your loved ones as well. These times give a whole new meaning to the word crazy. It seems Mother Nature has grounded the whole world and we are all in a timeout. Will mankind learn anything from this? The age old question or parody, will we feed the good wolf or the bad wolf? But the life lesson here is the children with special needs are grounded for life. They will have unsurmountable challenges as they grow older. Most will never live independently, go to prom, or get that tat that they may or may not regret later in life, get married, and have children of their own. Today's turmoil and grief will end soon for most of us, but the parents of children with special needs will continue living a lifelong fear. What happens to my child if I die first? These are the children that need us most. Thank you for listening. God bless us all. Have fun, be kind, and stay safe, my friends.